I just believe you have the potential to be the most powerful wizard of your generation. Trust me, you have no idea what you're truly capable of. Well, if you ask my family, I'm not capable of anything except refusing to grow up. They're mortals. They can't understand wizards with your power. Besides, if their opinions really bother you, you're powerful enough to create your own spell to smooth out your little edges. Why are you telling me this? Because where everyone else sees trouble, I see magic and beauty. Okay, now you're just flirting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Here, uh, it's a small gift. Oh, no, I can't take that. It's simply a friendship bracelet. Everything okay up here? Oh, yeah, Mason, sorry. Just had to get away from home, you know? And I just came to check on her. Apologize if I've overstepped. You have, mate. And I'm here now. Werewolf. <laughs> Goodbye, Alex. Bye. Werewolf. I do not like that guy. <laughs> Anything I should be worried about? Not a thing. Good. Well, I've got a surprise to cheer you up. I thought we would have a little picnic. Oh, well, don't say Italian, because I've had enough of that today. <laughs> no, I was, uh, I was thinking something sophisticated. Poached salmon. Oh, Mason. That's so sweet. But can I make a little tweak? Of course not. I call the wing. No, no, Alex. Alex, you know this food is bad for you. Besides, I cooked that salmon two hours over a hot poacher. Why? You know it only takes me like two seconds. I see. So this is how it's going to be from now on. What? Just you, me, and your wand. Just using your magic selfishly, no matter who it hurts. Mason, where are you going? I did all this for us. So did I. Thank you.